Huge family yard sale. Nice. What you what, what would you just want for this? What would you want for this whole box? This is your sister <laughs> stuff. <laughs> this is not how I expected the first two yard sales to go, being that amazing. Seriously? Yes. All right. Good morning, everybody. It is. What is it? About 8:45 Saturday morning. It's 57 degrees here in Burbank. It's a little bit chilly, but it's gonna warm up to about 78 today, so it should turn into a really nice day. This is gonna be awesome. We got the whole bike picking family out today. Got the whole crew out. Super special appearance from Mrs. Picker. Helen is in this episode. She came out today, which is super exciting. We got the whole crew out. As you just saw in that sign we saw on that pole, there's a big family, multi-family neighborhood yard sale going on. What happened, Ellis? You got hurt? Ellis's bike is too small for him, and I think it's just the way his, his legs are on here. It just makes his feet slip off super easy, so he keeps hitting his leg and his shins and the back of his leg and all this crap. He keeps hitting himself on these pedals and hurting himself, so we got to be on the lookout for a new bike for him for sure. His is way too small for him. But anyways, we're headed to the uh, a big multifamily yard sale, big neighborhood yard sale going on. I came across it the other, the like two weeks ago, I think. We were riding around and we came up to the office that we're actually headed to right now because I want to get a map of all the houses. There's like 41 houses. It's a big, big thing. Uh, so there should be a lot of stuff to choose from, a lot uh, to pick through. We'll see what the flyer, I forget what the flyer said, but it mentioned electronics and uh, you know vintage and all, all different kinds of stuff. So it should be pretty cool. But we're gonna go head to their offices right now who's hosting this neighborhood yard sale this, and uh, pick up a map. And then we're gonna head out and see if we can find any deals, find anything cool, find anything that uh, you know we could either keep that's awesome or resell for profit. So see how it goes. I know, I can't believe they shut it down either. This used to be one of our favorite pizza places to go to and they shut it down. What was it called? I liked it. I did. I got the beast. I loved it. I missed the beast on firecracker bread. That was that was good. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't remember that. Nobody else in Burbank, nobody else that has firecracker bread. Look, there's another sign, garage sale on this street right here. I, they're gonna be everywhere. This is like a, there, I think there were like 40 something houses signed up for this. So getting my new kicks dirty already. That's why I don't like buying new shoes because then I just stress about, about keeping them clean. I shouldn't have gone half white shoes. Uh, well, honestly, <laughs> you inspired me. You inspired me to go with these new whiter shoes because you look cool in your white shoes. Go. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if they have a map, Ellis, of this big yard sale. Are there any maps, Ben? Perfect. Where are we at right now? It's next weekend too. Does anybody else want to get get a map? Yeah. Where do we live? Where are we right now? They should have put a "you are here" thing on this. I almost just zoomed into this. Almost there's, just went like this. <laughs> there's many. There's a lot on Avon. So. <clears throat> Is that what we're next to now, is Avon? Oh yeah, okay, so there's Avon. There are a lot. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five yard sales on this street right there, Ben. So we got five yard sales just on one street right here on Avon. CC, you ready to hit it? What were you looking for last time? I don't remember. Last week. Oh, old video games. I'm looking for a sword. A sword? <laughs> You're looking for a sword? Yes, I'm looking for a sword, I'm looking for enough darts, I'm looking for a new bike, and I'm looking for a wig. A wig? A wig? I mean, <laughs> what are you looking for? Um, some toys, some vi old video games, and a little bit of Hot Wheels. A little bit of Hot You say old video games, but we only have a, well, we have a Super Nintendo, I guess. You could look for it old Super Nintendo games, that would be cool because we actually could play those. Super NES, we have a PlayStation 4 also, so. But that, the disc things that don't work. Oh, you're right, you're right, the PlayStation disc thing is broken. What are you looking for? Kitschy decorations? I never heard that word. Kitschy? Kitschy? kitschy. I don't know what kitschy means. Like quirky, like eclectic, like maybe an air fryer. I can't fit an air fryer in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is bike pickers. You prepay, they can hold it. Well, you pay for it, they'll hold it. That's true, I guess. That's a good point. CC, what are you looking for today? Little toys. 
Little toys? Old Mc old McDonald's toys like what we found last week. Yeah, those are super cool. I like those a lot. All right, let's go. Oh, there's a big tent. Yeah, we're definitely uh, headed the right way. All right, first one. Let's see what we got. see any brand on this. World Traveler. Oh my god, look, this is awesome. Risk it, get the drift. Oh my god, this jacket is amazing. That's a miss on the Riddler. Degree of difficulty, 10. I wish you guys were small. What's your What do you want for this? Dollar. All right, I'll give you a dollar for that. This is, this is amazing. CC, does this fit you? See if this fits you. This is like the coolest jacket I've seen. Oh yeah. Aww. Yeah, not with the hell, yeah. Look at me. Nice. Too bad we're going into summer. That's awesome. Yeah, sweet. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Very nice. Look at me. Nice. I like it. What is that? What'd you find? I want, I want some of these. These are size one and I'm size one. My shoes are size one. Really? Yeah, and I like these. Mach 5. You've never done this before. Yeah, and I want it. These bearing, actually, LSCs are, these are not in good condition. Please, Daddy, please. I mean, you're going to need to put new bearings in these. What are bearings? Bearings are what makes the wheel spin. Like that one doesn't even spin. What do you want for these? Two dollars? Yeah. You're gonna have to get new bearings for them though. So just understand that's, you're not gonna be able to like, I mean, you can use them now, but we'll get new bearings for them. Wow, this triggered some sort of memory just now. Are you a teacher? Oh no, I just work at the school. Oh yeah? Awesome. I need this just so they can burn energy all day. <laughs> yeah, that, my life would be Oh, these are cool. What's all this, you know? Toy Network. People. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What's this? Oh, this is from Circus Circus in Vegas. <laughs> That's cool. I used cool. to do all that. Really? I used to play all those games and get all these stuffed animals. Oh, really? I have them all. I go, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with them? <laughs> this is, it's cool. How, how, do you know how old, how long ago this was from? Oh, yeah, it's at least 20 years old. At least 20 years old? Yeah. It's cool. I like that. What do you want for these? 25 cents. Are they all old like that? Like yeah. they're all? I mean, I'm just the the like how faded and old that tag looks is. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm no I'm no plush toy expert, <laughs> but it kind of looks old, so I assume. This is cool. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. I want the whole box. <laughs> These are so cool. Mm -hmm. oh, 
No. Set these here. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that one does look really old. That one does look really old. Oh, nice. Garfield. Oh, is that Rex from Toy Story? Yeah. What is that, a hand puppet? A Rex hand puppet? Oh, that's cool. How does it... Oh, you put your fingers in his legs, I guess, Cece. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Good morning. Let's definitely get that one. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. I don't know. I think you... <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> She's like in the box. <laughs> oh, she was digging. She was digging deep for that one. <laughs> you went deep for that one, Cece. Oh, sweet Tweety Bird. Let's get Tweety Bird too. This is our pile we're gonna get, Ben. Oh, Yokito Taco Bell dog. Oh, gosh. It makes a noise, doesn't it? Would you what, what would you just want for this what would you want for this whole box? This is like all right, I'll give you that. This is gonna take too long. Yeah, we'll have to figure this out. Might have to might have to make another. Uh just throw that in there. What so what does she pay you for already? Five more. Can you give her five dollars? Yeah, we're I'm just gonna get it all, or else I'm gonna spend twelve hours here looking at them. Well thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Well, I'm gonna have to maybe go back home real quick and drop this off and meet you guys. Sweet. This was only our first stop and we're already full. Let's just go look at this one and then we'll figure it out. Oh my gosh, look at all that fishing stuff over there. All right, watch these things, boys. Don't let anybody think that those are for sale. Hey, look, Benjamin, <laughs> it's got your name on it. <laughs> it's got Ben's name on it right there. Are these New Balance? Look at these New Balance. Still pretty good condition. These are New Balance. Softball? It's softball? What do you want for those? Dollar. One dollar for these, Ellis. Let's get these for a dollar. Let's get these for a dollar. Dollar a piece for the bats. For the bats, a dollar each. All right. Uh, catcher gear. I don't think I have room for that. <laughs> That's my haul already, and I'm on a bicycle, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go unload and come back out. Is is what's gonna have to happen? There's so many today, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So it was like f 44, I think I saw. And it was good inspiration to dump everything on the front. Oh, totally, totally. What is that? What's that? Uh, there's like this app you can do, like you can uh, download, and if you like scan it, it'll like turn into like a. Like a uh, It'll turn into what? Like, yeah, kind of. Interesting. <laughs> I forget what the app's called. Merge. Is the app free? That's interesting. Well, that's cool. Missing some wheels. I don't know. What is that? A little camera? Oh, sweet. <laughs> what do you want on that? I gotta have it. This is his table in your room. This is your table? Uh, you could do 50 cents, maybe. 50 cents? What about, what about 75 cents? <laughs> sure. Alright. Whoa. Sorry. Did that hit you? Oh, I'm sorry.
Oh, Ellis. Oh my God. I remember this. This is like a head massager. I used to have one of these. That is cool, Ellis. That looks like a big puzzle. Oh, there's a Dunder Mifflin. Oh, nice. It's a match. I can do a dollar for both. You got it. I like you. I like this kid. <laughs> this is your sister stuff? <laughs> Perfect. That's awesome. Selling off your sister stuff. I love it. Please tell me she doesn't know. That would just make it even better. This old Polaroid camera. What? What do you want for the Polaroid? Does it work? Do a dollar on that. I feel like I've heard of that. Yeah, they sell the Polaroid films. Okay. Yeah, they're almost impossible to test unless you have like a little pack of films. Yeah. You, you can test the function, but like, it'll, it'll probably work, I'm sure. Fish much? Huh? Fish much? Not as much as I'd like, but you know. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed. It's my, uh, a lot of it's my father in law's. Gotcha. I've already got one closet full of fishing stuff, so I don't, uh, I don't have room for more, uh, I don't have room for more. I know, I have, I'm keeping, like, five, like, solid boat rods to take out offshore. Well, actually, that's how much That's pretty much, yeah. And then I've got, like, a couple of spinning rods for lake, you know. That's literally what I've, I, yeah, I've got two, one's like a 400 setup on a, mm -hmm. you know, eight foot, whatever, my offshore. And then one for inshore, and then one spinning for fresh water. Yeah, I got That's literally all I... If you got any more than that, I don't know. You're just, like... I'm not in that big of a hurry to fish. I don't need to feel like I need to swap. I know. I've got a couple of Therese eight-footers with some some saltist Daiwas. Uh-huh. And then, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, I have a lightweight one, like an old uh, Calstar fiberglass for, like, plug-in. Yeah. Know? I might get a, like a big surf rod, but it's got to be two feet. Yeah, I've got a nine foot for surf. Yeah, but I want a, I want like a thirteen foot. All right, so could you pay him? Uh, this was uh, a doll three dollars. I like this though. I don't know. I'm, for a dollar, I'm keeping this. Um, so one, two, three, four, five dollars. I've got five dollars of stuff right here. All right, it's a lot of stuff. I definitely think we got more than can handle right now. I had five. I had five dollars worth of stuff. Did you make that, or is that a actual bike trailer? It's an actual bike trailer. You can buy from Travoy. Travoy, that's awesome. I need that. I like that bike too. Oh yeah, it just attaches on. Yeah. Is that an electric bike? Yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. I like the setup. This thing alone costs about 200. 200? At REI. Yeah. But uh, if you go online, you can probably find a used one for about 100 or something. Yeah. That's cool. Cool, man. I like it. I like the setup. All right, hold on. Let me get on this bike. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, I mean, we're making it. Oh my God, I have a giant box of stuff on my lap trying to ride a bike right now. This is insane. This is not how I expected the first two yard sales to go, being that amazing. $5 for this entire box of vintage plush. I'm gonna sell these for probably $5 each. Well, you wanna stop here? All right, yeah, we'll stop here. Oh, we're gonna stop at one more, even though I am tapped out. This is insane. <laughs> He is way more efficient than I am. That dude had like a, tr like, look at that. That's what I need. He's also got an electric bike too, which is cheating. How are you? Pretty good. Got some sage. Nice. Disney baby. That's cute.
cute. So you see, where's she at? See the little poo baby shaker? Oh, what's that, Sienna? It's big. Hey, Ben, should we get one of these for our patio to feed those hummingbirds that come around? Or no? You gotta keep it very clean. I don't keep things very clean. What? You wanna buy that? It's got something in what does this baby do? What does it make sounds or something? I believe so. Not been so long. Oh I see the arms. Mechanical or something too. Sienna, you have so many babies already, baby. Look, it's these things we tried to sell at our yard sale <laughs> recently. These things are cool, but kids play with them one time, I guess, and then they end up in yard sales. Oh, look at those, Cece. Look at her house night shoes that <laughs> she just saw. Excuse me. That's what they do. Look, kid Uggs. It's not bad. What is? What are you finding? These bilingual board books. How much are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, how much would you like for these board books? Uh, a, buck. a buck each. Okay. Those are really nice. Yeah, they're so great. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, very nostalgic. Could you do all of them for four? All six of them? You want five on them all? That's her call. I'm good with that. Let her have Shelly if you want it. Those are cool. We have this. We have this. Do we not have this? We have, we have, there's lots of iterations of that kind of book, and we have some, we have something like that. It's like a oh. flip. Mommy's looking at some books right now that she doesn't know about yet, so just wait. What is this thing? You know, uh, I don't know. I think it's an extension for uh, a camera. It was a stick. A white elephant. Oh, like a selfie stick? I think so. That's, I really don't Oh, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. Selfie stick, yep. This is illegal contraband at Disneyland. They don't allow selfie sticks at Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, it's like against the rules now. Actually, that was a long time ago, I think. Like a couple years ago or so. Oh, you found some jewelry too? Alice was like, Alice wanted this Oh, those, yeah, those are cool. Plastic. All right, thank you. Ugh. All right, go, guys. Go, 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 go. I can't stop. Go, I can't stop. Ugh. My God, this box is huge. Man, that was only two of, that was only one street. This was only one street. That was only two of 44 yard cells. There's no way we're getting through this. This is massive. Well, this was a pretty epic haul. There's a bunch of really old. She said these, these were like 20 plus years old. Uh, vintage plushes. Oh, what's up? We got one more. Let's stop here. Oh, God. I'm a hot mess right now on this bike. All right, geez. Let's check this one out. What's a big mug? What are you looking at? Oh. Wow, yeah, those are big mugs. These are your coffee cups? I'm not going to say you have a coffee problem, but... These are the most aggressive coffee cups I've ever seen. I mean, it, you do drink that much coffee, though, so... Well, if you do it in smaller cups, though, it's not as... It's official. You're awesome. Oh, I just bought it. A water oh, you water. literally just bought that. I did. And that's brand new, unopened? Oh, yeah. Never used? Never. Oh, yeah. Can you go return the one you bought? She literally... We bought one literally yesterday. Oh. Brand yeah. new. Literally yesterday. If you still have the receipt, return that other one and buy that one. Man, I love your front yard. Thank you. If you want 
that you can have that. Seriously? <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, yeah. Like a on it or something. No, for sure I'll take that. I can literally put stuff in it right now that I'm <laughs> carrying. That's awesome. Thank you. Yes. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't fit. Well, whatever. No, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Free Mossimo bag. It's nice, too. I mean, it's super dirty, but it's nice. Maybe it'll clean up. Maybe not. I don't know. It was free. Yeah, we're close to our house. Man, we got some epic scores today. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> got the bike pickers out everywhere. I remember those two guys from our yard sale. So. You remember them? They came to our yard sale. So. Nice. Let's get back home and see what we got. All right, well, man. Today was a pretty epic score. I feel like we just keep getting epic scores left and right lately, but this is the most that I've ever tried to carry on this bicycle. And the whole point of bike pickers is like, we live in a small apartment, that's just the reality. We have five people living in a small apartment, <clears throat> a small two bedroom apartment. I don't have room for a bunch of stuff. So this is an attempt to try to limit the amount of crap that I bring home, but definitely the biggest load that, that I've brought home so far, but a lot of really cool stuff at this yard sale. And honestly, this was like a 44 person yard sale, uh, person, this was like a 44 uh, houses, you know, had registered to do this yard sale. And we only went to like, like three or four of them. Uh, and we were loaded up, but it was it was an amazing find and everything that we got. Uh, so let's take a look at everything we got. So I, I can't I don't know what two dollars maybe two or three dollars is uh, what we gave for these. Ellis just wanted these. I don't think he's ever he hasn't he's never owned a pair of roller skates, and so he saw these and he wanted them. I actually, kind of am interested to see if he uh, would be into roller skating or not, but. Um, I don't know what they are. Seneca Mach 5s. They definitely need some some new bearings. The bearings are pretty worn out on these. Maybe some new laces as well, but I mean they are nice. They're pretty cool uh, roller skates, so we'll have to see if he can do this without breaking anything, but I don't know. That's cool. A couple bucks for those. They picked this up. I, he, they probably gave 50 cents for this. Some sort of maze. This is something else that I think Ellis picked up. He likes these kinds of puzzles and stuff like that, so that's a cool one. I don't know who got these books. Oh man, I remember that. Wow, I remember these things from when you'd have to slide that in to sign the book out. Kind of an older Disney book, but that's cool. Looks like it could be some somewhat vintage. I imagine Sienna or some of the boys picked these up. Dogs don't wear sneakers. I don't want to go to bed. The Tiny Teen Ghost. The Biggest Pumpkin Ever. Curious George gets a medal. All right, there we go. There's one I recognize. I don't know, a few books. This jacket, I, I saw it, I, I had to have it instantly. There was no way I could not not buy this jacket, especially when he said it was like a dollar. I think he wanted for it. Risk it, get the drift. This jacket is so like retro, difficulty of degree 10. There is for sure somebody out there who wants to buy this for their kid so their kid can look fresh. Look at that, steep slopes, fashion ski wear. This is a really, really nice jacket. Risk, since the thrill. Yeah, this is awesome. Love this jacket. We can definitely flip that for some profit, for sure. We picked this up. I mean, you heard the whole interaction. What's funny is we got home and realized uh, Helen cannot even return the one that we had. So I guess I'll try to sell this one on eBay or something. We paid 10 bucks for it. So these are like 34 plus tax, something like that. So. I don't know, maybe we can get 20 bucks for it. This Mossimo bag, I kept looking at it and I kept thinking about buying it, but then she just gave it to me. It's really sturdy. It's dirty as crap, obviously, but it's missing something there. It's like a suit suitcase bag or something. It's definitely been used though, but it's really nice. I'm trying to figure out what this material is. Made in Taiwan. Massimo. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice bag if there's a way to clean it up. I mean, this is still a, a super solid bag. Sturdy zipper. Yeah, this is nice. And it was free. She just gave it to me. Ugh, God. Well, I don't know. I see these people flipping baseball bats left and right. I gave her a dollar each for these bats. If I can get, I don't know, nine bucks each for them, 
that'd be all right. But if not, the boys have some bats to keep uh, under the bed in case some intruders come in. These New Balance, but they're, they're New Balance softball shoes. So these, these I gave her a dollar for them. These have to be worth more than a dollar, I would think. So we'll definitely try to flip these and see what we can get for them. All right, so this right here, this is, uh, oh, before we get into that, I forgot about this too. It's Polaroid. I gave her a dollar for the Polaroid. Helen said she almost didn't want me to buy it. She said there's already so many of these out there, but even so, I don't have one. So it's kind of cool to, to say I have one now. He assumed it works. I guess it works. Pretty cool. We'll have to figure out if I want to sell this or keep it or what, but I do like having it for sure. And I know a friend I could give it to as well if nobody wants to buy it and if I decide not to keep it. Oh, we got these two little office things from that little hustler dude. That kid was awesome. I love that kid. We gave him, uh, I don't know, I think a dollar for each of these, but some office stuff. It's new. This looks new too, so might be able to get something for that. Now this right here, this is where I feel like, this is where I feel like the money is. I gave her $5 for this entire box and, and all of these, pretty much all of these, she said was, you know, 20 plus years old. You can tell they're all very old PP. Um, there are definitely some vintage plush in here. Like, look at that. That I think is for sure worth some money. Especially to collectors of like Circus Circus where a lot of this came from. She said she would just, she would spend, you know, tons of money in those machines trying to get this stuff back in the day. And uh, I guess these are a bunch of old like gaming machines but there were some in there that are recognizable you know you got Tweety Bird you got some Toy Story stuff this was a little hand puppet that I guess somehow you figure out how to get your hands in and have him walk I liked that a lot though that was cool this was I mean you know Circus Circus Las Vegas Reno this is over 20 years old that's really cool I like this one a lot Got a Garfield in there. I mean, there's just a lot. I mean, there's there's a lot. I don't even know the full count. I haven't even gone through it all yet. But everything is definitely very vintage. San Francisco, product of Korea. Yeah, everything in here, there's just, I don't know. Let's get a count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, <clears throat> 19, 20, 21, that one looks old, 22, that one looks old too, 23, 24, oh yes, 25, awesome, I did not know he was in there, yeah, Looney, it's legit too, Looney Tunes, Warner Brothers, awesome. Crap, what number are we on? 25. 26. 27. That's a cool one. 28. 29. 30. Uh, 31, 32. Wow, look how old these look. They're not that old, I guess. That one's not... 33, 34, this is from Babe, I can't remember this character, it's Babe though, 35, 36, 37, oh look, it's a McDonald's toy, Cece said she wanted to find an old McDonald's toy, there we, there you go, we, we did it, crap, I forgot what number I was on, 39, 40, Wow, 2001, Disney Pixar. That's awesome. Hasbro. 41, 42. 
43, 44, 45, what is that? Made in the Philippines. We do have viewers in the Philippines. That's cool. What was that, 40, 43? Circus Circus. So, yeah, a lot of this was from Circus Circus in Vegas. I guess, or Reno. I don't know which one she was at. But this is old vintage Circus Circus stuff. Really, really cool. Oh, there's a uh, 1993 tie. Yeah, a lot of really cool stuff in here. I, what was the number? 43, something like that. 43, 44 uh, pieces in here that we gave her $5 for. So, you're crazy if you're going to tell me there's not profit to be made in this box. And maybe quite a bit of it, I don't know. But, either way, this is amazing. This was a super, super cool find. I'm very excited to find these uh, community yard cells. These community yard cells are absolutely awesome. And I know you guys like them too. Let's actually see if it's going to happen. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, we're not there. 9.9 thousand views on the episode from last week that I uploaded uh, six days ago. So you guys really liked the episode last week. We are so close, probably in the next 30 minutes. By the time this video is uploaded, last week's video will have 10,000 views already. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. If you like the community yard sales, the multifamily yard sales, definitely check out the last one. And be sure you guys hit the subscribe button and, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any uploads and anything that we come, have coming out. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.